Metal Slug! Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the original Metal Slug for the Neo Geo CD. It was developed by Nazca Corporation, who developed games like In the Hunt prior to this, and it was published by SNK. It's been released for the Neo Geo AES, the Sega Saturn, PlayStation, Virtual Console, PSN, and a whole bunch of others. The plot centers around Marco Rossi and Tarma Roving, two elite commandos trying to infiltrate and destroy the rebel military of the evil General Morden, who as it turns out has gained control of the new prototype Metal Slug All-Terrain Combat Vehicle, which is why there are so many scattered around the levels. Later games would incorporate all kinds of crazy plot twists involving aliens, robots, zombies, and so forth, but this one sticks with the tried and true bring down the evil dictator archetype, which is always a classic. Metal Slug is basically just an over-the-top run-and-gun style game in the same vein as games like Contra and Gunstar Heroes, for example, but it definitely has its own unique style and gameplay elements. You start each level with just a handgun that has infinite ammo and a stock of 10 grenades, but littered throughout each level are a ton of weapons like machine guns and rocket launchers as well as extra grenades. These weapons and other point bonuses can be dropped by defeated enemies, found in crates that you destroy, or awarded to you by rescued POWs. The one drawback here is that after taking just one hit, you lose all of your weapon power-ups, so you have to be really careful. Enemies come at you from every angle, and it's really easy to get hit by bullets, rockets, or whatever else they throw at you. Plus, there are the occasional pitfalls to look out for. The best power-up of all is definitely the Metal Slug tank that has mounted machine guns, a cannon, and it can take three hits before being destroyed, and you can replenish its health by picking up gas cans. Every level has at least one Metal Slug in it, and they can be a real lifesaver, especially against the game's big, heavily armed bosses. If you can manage to complete a level with the Metal Slug still intact, as well as having rescued a few POWs, you'll get a big bunch of bonus points. Later games would introduce more weapons and vehicles, but this one doesn't suffer for not having them. It plays really well, it's a lot of fun, and it's very challenging. It can be a bit frustrating at times, especially when you pick up your favorite weapon, only to be killed seconds later, but overall it's a very enjoyable game and a great way to kick off the series. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. <laughs> The presentation in Metal Slug is excellent. This is a series that has definitely always had a very distinct visual style. The character designs have a very cartoonish and wacky look to them, and makes the game come across as more comical as opposed to other run and gun games which usually go for a grittier style. The vehicle designs are really elaborate and cool, and the stages are super detailed and really colorful as well, with a lot of activity going on at any one time. This can cause a bit of slowdown, but it's nothing game-breaking. Also, the load times aren't so bad either, usually no more than 10 seconds or so, which might surprise you if you've heard about these supposedly atrocious load times on the Neo Geo CD. The sound design is really good too. The soundtrack is kind of a mix of jazz and rock style tracks with others that don't really seem to have a style, other than that they're meant to complement the action. Almost like the score to an action movie or something, but it all sounds good and suits the gameplay really well. The sound effects are good too, and I love the announcer for this game. Every time he says, Rocket Launcher, I chuckle a little bit. 
On the whole, the presentation in Metal Slug and the entire Metal Slug series for that matter is unique and matches the fun, fast-paced gameplay perfectly. Thank you. So this is a game and a series that I personally love and recommend to pretty much anybody. I can't imagine anyone not enjoying it. I'm not going to bother going over price listings because this game and its sequels have appeared on just about every platform since its original inception in 1996. So you'll definitely be able to find Metal Slug in one form or another for a reasonable price. Whether it be physical or digital, it's all good. If you're in need of some pulse-pounding, mind-blowing, ass-kicking action to the max, then play Metal Slug. It's so awesome it hurts. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah.